of Saint Christophe. Okay. Uh, these are basically uh, troglodytes uh, in the Dordogne area. We've come to visit it to find out more about how uh, people used to live in prehistoric times. So there are two distinct uh, uh, times for when this for when this region is known for. One mm -hmm. was of course the prehistoric times, right? But prehistoric times when nomadic tribes used to uh, use these as their shelters when they used to travel from place to place. Now these are like natural shelters. They are basically caves in your mountain walls, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got a river flowing right next to it. I forget the pronunciation, but it's it's spelled as V E Z E R E. I'll go with mm -hmm. Vezer. Mm -hmm. Apologies if my pronunciation is wrong. So these caves are right on the banks of the Vezer River. And nomadic tribes while traveling used to take shelter over here, stay over here, and it was really helpful in terms of you know like keeping wild animals off keeping attack you know keeping attacks from other tribes at bay you know mm -hmm. so that way it was a good shelter but over the years in more recent times in the middle ages this this came to be known as a troglodyte village which basically is you take uh, the nature's creation itself and transform it into a place to you know kind of take shelter stay and do your day to day life right uh, so here, in fact, when uh, people came to the Middle Ages, mein log yahan ke rehne lage, they built a lot of additional structures to be able to support their day-to-day -day living uh, within these caves itself, right? And uh, from what I remember, I saw somewhere, and I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this, but during, during the Middle Ages, Vikings uh, were like, you know, spreading everywhere. Like, they, you know, they were attacking all the regions in this area. And this became like a natural shelter for people in the Middle Ages to stay here and to ward off attacks through the river. They could see afar if Vikings are coming. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. bahut interesting history is jaga ki, and I'm really excited to see. Do you want to I come know. along? Yes, absolutely. I think the fact that human civilization has been there for thousands of years and uh, the fact that, you know, people have been smart enough for years to know how to basically how to live and where to live and not creating something of their own but taking the advantage of what nature already provides you because these rocks itself are structures which under have holes kiye hai. so this troglodyte hai, troglodyte is uh, like a Greek word troglo means hole hmm. and dite means live so hole mein reh, rehte thi wo log. and naturally it's such a good defense mechanism to live in the Whole and be protected from the surrounding and um, and that kind of tells us how smart those people were they didn't need to learn you know how to make houses or bricks motor which tension in here you just come and you know occupy this place and live in harmony with nature i think that's what it tells you so it's amazing let's go let's go and explore so i think uh, we didn't tell you these are called the river terraces yes right? These are so, called river terraces and uh, very fascinating and big rock structure. So let's go. Yes. This is Sangeeta's size of face, face size. And this is the man. Wow. Oof, kya superb lag raha hai. Ajay, ajay. 
क्या बात है मजा आ गया थोड़ा बस प्याज है चले इज़ फूड गुड यस इट वेरी गुड इट्स वेरी गुड एक्चुअली व्हाट इज दिस आम का अचार फ्रॉम इंडिया ही गॉट इट फॉर अस ओ नाइस इस रात के लिए मैं लाके देता हूं god we have a torch light to ourselves and this almost looks in the middle of nowhere right we have this air bnb where like the torch light hardly can find out where we are let's get inside quickly Whew. okay we are inside let's put the let's put the curtains